Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to mine cryptocurrency using an iPhone. Now this is very much a proof of concept but it's just to show you that it can definitely be done. So what I've got here is an iPhone SE 2020 model which has been jailbroken and the first thing you need to do is install an app called Mobile Miner. So on your jailbroken iPhone go to Cydia. Once you're in Cydia click on the sources tab at the bottom here and then click on add at the top. In here you want to enter the address for a repo called Limnios Repo and I'll leave a link to the address in the description. Okay so once you've added the address and installed uh, the repo it'll look something like that Limnios Repo. So what we're going to do is click on it once you've installed it go to all packages uh, the one we want to install is called Mobile Miner so just go down to the ends and it's that one there click on that and then click on install i've already got it installed so it's just telling me to modify it but go ahead and just install it so once you've installed it you'll get a shortcut on your iphone called mobile miner just go ahead and click that and the first thing you need to do is set up a mining configuration so you do that by clicking on the cog on the top right and then just go into your configurations and then either edit the default one or add a new one i've already got one here so i'll just edit that one Enter the uh, credentials in there for your mining pool. Um, just give it a description. I've just called it Zcash because that's what I'm mining with this phone. Add in the worker address and the password and then the number of threads that you want to use. So at the moment, I'm just going to leave it on the default, which is two threads. Uh, and then just go ahead and save your configuration. And click on done. Okay, so we've got everything ready to go, configuration's already set, let's click on start mining. So what you can do is click on the log button at the bottom right there, and that'll give you some details of what it's um, doing at the current process. So at the moment we've got two threads activated, and the first one's running at 35 hash, and the second one's running at 34.46 hash as well. So if we go back to the mobile miner, it should hopefully just refresh that with an overall average figure of what your hash rate is and there we go so we're getting 71 hash now this is the iphone se 2020 model so it's got six cores so let's just go ahead and change the configuration and change it from two threads to six okay so we're back in the configuration that's where the threads were let's up that to six and save it Click done and let's start mining. Let's see what happens. Click on log. And as you can see, the six cores now and um, it's kind of given an average of about 18 to 19 um, hash between them all. Let's see what kind of an average we get from that. Oh, that's not bad. 118 hash. So there you go, guys. That's how you actually mine with a um, mobile miner on your iPhone. Um, just a couple of things that you need to be aware of. Number one, the battery is going to be draining super quick. You're using all the um, power of the CPU to do the mining. So you need to have this on charge all the time. I wouldn't recommend using um, a new mobile um, to do this. Probably an old iPhone that you've got kicking about. Okay, just to the right, just to give you a bit of a comparison. This is an iPhone 8, so it was made slightly earlier than the um, SE 2020, and I've set this up um, mining as well. So just to get an idea of what the hashing power is on this one, getting about 56, but that's on two cores. So let's change this one to six cores. Right, there we go. So we've changed the iPhone 8 here on the right to six cores. Let's see what kind of a rate we're getting. It's about 11s and 12s. Let's go back to the main screen and see what rate we get. On the left, obviously, we've got the SE 2020 with six cores. That's running at an average of about 92, so it's come down from about 100. Let's see what we get on the 8. It's 
73. So there you go. So obviously the um, the better CPU is in the SE2020 and you're getting a slightly better hash rate from that. But like I said, uh, this is really just a proof of concept. The phone batteries will uh, drain very quickly. On the back of the phone, they get very hot as well round about this, this area just where the logo is and just to the right here. Um, but if you do have an old iPhone kicking about that you don't use, you could set the uh, threads down a bit and then just leave it passively mining in the background without any uh, major ill effect. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.